Being the CEO of a successful business, it isn't easy. There are many mental, physical, and emotional stressors that have to be dealt with in order to perform the way your company needs you to. In this video, we're gonna deep dive into the struggle, reality, and solution of dealing with the dark thoughts every CEO of a successful business struggles with. Don't go anywhere. Hi, I'm Jennifer Kim, but you can call me Jen. I'm the founder of the Master Brand Institute, and here we guide entrepreneurs through the process of building a unique message, then put it into an effective marketing structure to attract the right people to buy their products. I upload a new video every Friday, so be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, then click the bell icon so you're notified when new content is available. Now, on to today's video. Why don't I just give up and do something else? It's a thought every single CEO has at least once a week. <laughs> After all, it's a lot of pressure to be responsible for bringing the ideas, strategies, leadership, and ultimately clients to pay the dang bills. While some days are great and we love the control, power, and recognition, other days are just meh, you know, whatever. But some days are just bad. And even then, there are bad days and then there are fucking shitty days. I want to share with you a train of thought and conversation I had recently after a day of one of those disastrous meeting days. I'm ashamed to admit this, but should I just burn this business down? I could just go back to corporate. I mean, it's more work, but it's way less pressure with all the structures, systems, and resources available. I'll have way more at my disposal. Every time I looked at my LinkedIn inbox, there's a multi six figure salary with a benefit package from a tech company that wants to hire me. Like, I'll work more hours and might have to go into an office twice a week, but it'll be way less pressure. Or maybe I should just be an influencer. I mean, I'm so cute and people like me. Plus, with a little bit of practice, I could be a great thirst trap for those photos. And I also travel like every month. So if I add in a little bit of lifestyle or VIP events, I could definitely be trending. I dress pretty dang cute. I mean, hashtag fancy lazy that could totally be the newest Gen X fashion trend. Or maybe I'll send Nate back to work. FYI, he's my husband. He's been living a good life, being a slay at home dad, and he's always talking about how much he liked going to work, making friends and impressing his clients. Maybe it's time for him to become the breadwinner so I can relax and be a stay at home mom. <laughs> Who am I kidding? That would drive me crazy. Like, why does no one else feel like this? I look at all my CEO and entrepreneur friends on social media and it's like they're crushing it. But I feel like everything has been a struggle. Yeah, it's been rewarding, but I don't know if I have the stamina to keep pushing at this pace. Now, you probably don't have the exact same thoughts as me, but you definitely know a little bit about what I'm talking about. The doubt, the fear, and the kind of seriously looking for opportunities to escape into something new. I know I'm not the only one who feels like this, right? which if you think about it, it's kind of crazy. I built my first multi-million dollar business before I was 34 years old. I built my second multi-million dollar business when I was 37, and I built my third multi-million dollar business when I was 40. And I still have these self-defeating thoughts, which logically doesn't make sense. Look at everything I've done, yet I'm still having a brain that tricks me into looking for an out. And now I don't say any of this to brag, but to be a reflection for you. What are the amazing things that you've accomplished with your business? If you're watching this video, you've accomplished quite a bit. But for some reason, the thoughts of quitting and giving up still pop into your brain, which is why I think it's so important to surround yourself with people who can objectively point out when you're doing well. Remember that whole in my head thing I just went through? On that same day, I had my weekly leadership meeting with my CEO, Sarah Paikai, and we always open the meeting by catching up on how we're personally feeling, so I shared all of my thoughts with her. She looked me dead in the eye, y'all, or at least directly into her camera on Zoom, and told me, yeah, I don't know why you're thinking about that. Things are going awesome right now. And then she showed me how much money the company had made, the results our clients were sharing with us, and the progress of my own personal projects. I was shocked. I told her, I didn't know we were doing that good. I feel like I haven't been doing anything to contribute. And she replied, yeah, that's kind of the point. You just gotta bring the vision of what you want, then I'll get the team to work on it until it meets your expectations. You should read a book or something, whatever will help you stay inspired so that you can keep bringing the company 
your million dollar ideas. And that, my friend, is the reality of being a CEO. We tend to be big picture thinkers who need to be reminded that our ideas and direction are producing results in the day-to-day work. And that's why it's so important you surround yourself with people who can objectively show you what is and isn't working. So I'm curious to know, who are the people you surround yourself with to give you objective feedback on how your business is doing? Let me know down in the comments. And if the answer is no one, Jen, no one's helping me do that, then you should think about attending one of our upcoming Ask Us Anything CEO circles. Every month, Sarah and I host a small intimate session to share our wisdom with other ambitious women CEOs. It's an informal conversation where you can ask questions, then glean proven experiences and strategies from a duo who've supported dozens of CEOs to build multi-million dollar businesses. It's free and it's super low key, so there's no pretense or posturing. We just wanna share our wisdom with others who are committed to being the CEO of their life and their business. You can learn more using the link down in the description below. And that's it. If you found value in this content, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below so we can get this video in front of more people who want to be the CEO of their life and business. Be sure to hit the subscribe button below and the little bell icon so you're notified when new content is released too. I'm Jen Kim, here to help you get seen, heard, and paid for the unique value you bring into the world. Until next time.